23-year-old Caleb Cooper shot to fame after starring on Clarkson's Farm, but he's had a rather rude awakening from fans after he began working on other projects with brands such as McDonald's. In a recent interview, he told fans that he didn't know which brands to partner with and how this has affected his decision to work with other brands in the future. Caleb partnered with fast food giant McDonald's for a campaign in November last year. This was followed by a video posted on his Instagram account, which focused on McDonald's trucks and how they run on cooking oil to stay sustainable. Caleb wrote, McDonald's UK got me to trade him a tractor for the day for one of its trucks. I was shown how the used cooking oil is turned into biodiesel that powers over half of its delivery trucks. Check out my video to see how McDonald's and me is powered by fries. Then he used the hashtag plan for change. What triggered his fans even more, I hate the word triggered, uh, was the video that he uploaded where he talks to McDonald's sustainability officer Sasha Seagar. This video launched a chain of reactions from angry fans on the post that was later deleted from his Instagram account. I wish we could show you the video, unfortunately we can't. One fan said, swapped milking cows for milking the gravy train I see. Such a shame you've sold your soul. Another added, sold yourself out there Caleb to the people who are taking your business, wakey wakey. Caleb was obviously all new to this. And as fans fumed in the comment section, he immediately corrected himself and decided to not take any more projects from brands. Since then, he has said no to all other offers he's received. Uh, and I think this is crazy. Look, let's, let's talk about this for a second. Caleb Cooper became incredibly popular being on Clarkson's farm. And this wasn't because Jeremy just put him in front of the camera and told him to speak. It's because he's talented at what he's doing. He's a young 20 year old who already has more knowledge than most in his chosen field, which is farming. And come on, he's really, really good at it. And then he was thrown in front of the camera, never done that before, and he was brilliant. He was able to shout down Clarkson. Clarkson, the loudest man in the country. Not many people can say they're able to control him because of, well, it's Clarkson. But Caleb was able to, and he did that because he's talented and because he's hardworking. So, if he wants to put a sponsored post on his Instagram account. A sponsored post that, let's face it, you can just swipe past if you don't want to see it. I think all for him. I think it's, if he wants to earn a bit of money, hell yeah, hell yeah, he can do that. And I'm getting a little bit annoyed because this is no one else's business, let's face it. McDonald's is doing a good thing, as far as I know, by running half their delivery trucks on, on used oil. That's a good thing in my eyes. And if Caleb wants to advertise that and get paid in return, yeah, definitely take it. He's got a family. He's now got a child. He can make money however he wants. It's not like he's hurting anyone. Um, so, you know, whatever. Moving forward, on a positive note, Caleb has toiled for six months to launch his own cider recently under the Hawkstone brand. And while talking to the Times about the backlash he got from his McDonald's sponsorship, he talked about the drink. He said, I just didn't want to do anything. I said no to everything. Now, everything I do, I have control over. I spent the last two years planting Jeremy's spring barley for his beer. And to be honest with you, I cannot stand beer, but I do like cider. It's now available to buy at hawkstone.co, that's not .com, that's .co, which describes it as the following. Using the fresh pressed juice from apples picked locally, our master cider makers ferment with champagne yeast and mature the cider for up to six months before cold filtering to create a cider that's full of flavor and character. Never from concentrate, never pasteurized. Now, I'm not such a fan of cider, but as a huge raving alcoholic, I'll be getting some to taste just for you guys. It's 25 quid for 12 500 ml bottles, so not too expensive. Um, and not only this, but Caleb has also revealed a book, The World According to Caleb, that is due to launch in October this year. Hey, look, like I said, Caleb is making serious moves. He's a talented, hardworking young guy. I love everything he's doing. Make sure you follow him on Instagram. Come on, he knows what he's doing. He's entertaining. It's a win-win. Hey, look, if you don't like a sponsored post, swipe past it. Don't be a dick on social media. There's really no need for it. While you're following Caleb on Instagram, hey, 
why not come to Grand Tour Nation and follow us too? We post every day on Instagram. Find us at the website www.grandtournation.com. Daily updates on everything from Grand Tour, Top Gear, cars and F1 related. You'll love it there. What's not to love? See you there. Subscribe and like and stuff. <laughs>